I wanted to tell you that my channel is being revamped and now you can visit it by sections here on the home tab you can find the latest videos right here in the upload section and most down below you have the new um, organized playlist for the series of the videos that I'm doing through the channel and those include different topics such as the Guilty Gear shader in Blender series of course the 3D and technical reviews as well as soft image and also 3D workflow time lapses on any kind of software that I am usually um, recording on the screen. Of course you have the Blender 3D complete workflow 2020 and that, it, that will walk you through each of the steps including uh, rigging, linking rigs and you know advanced stuff. And if you want to see the full playlist, or rather the individual videos, you can come here into the video tab. Of course, the playlist uh, tab will show you all of the playlists available in the channel. And the community tab, which is the most active one, um, I use it to publish everything that's going on um, as tests or as ideas or as resources that you can watch either on mine or other uh, Blender channels or other CG channels for that matter. Uh, you can post your ideas there, your suggestions, and this series um, also is going to board and talk about the Grand Blue Fantasy Versus shading style as well. So that's about it. Of course, my socials are there, so you can visit any of my other channels. So today we're kind of uh, in a rush we're, because we're going to discover what this secret Blender menu does. And it is the debug menu. And you find it by pressing F3 or spacebar, depending on which um, key you set for search. And you type debug. And it will come and pop up. And then you can type any number that we're going to watch in this video. For example, number one looks like a pass reserved for some kind of things. I don't know what it is for exactly. Number two shows a Definitely a look for the SSS pass for screen effects, maybe an SSS radiance, because you can see it right here on this metal thing, it's uh, irradiating light. Number three looks like motion vector shading, of course we can see this in the panel, and and also on the compositions that we can output from the render. Maybe this can work with motion blur. And number four looks like an overlay for reflections. Notice the bracelet. The wings are also black, with the, uh, which in the original materials, they were flat. Number five seems to just reset the debug view with no anti-aliasing. Let's go for number six. And you can see this looks like the world space normals in your screen. Let's go for number seven, which does nothing. Number eight. Looks like the SSS masking for a screen space effects. Okay, number nine is definitely a mask channel for the SSS effects. Number 10 looks like the albedo pass. Number 11 resets the view to full uh, um, anti-aliasing uh, things. Again. And all the way up until 20, we don't have anything in the viewport. Let's go for number 21 and we get basic stats for solid view. And now I'm going to make a little zoom so you can see what the numbers show. But you can try this at your own time. Now, if I have something to render, notice how the numbers start to move. And this is where it gets important because from 21 onwards, we're going to notice that the GPU rendering time and also the armature computation and also the point clouds and particles do get some time to be rendered in the viewport. These are, you know, the stats for your current uh, graphical card and the current viewport status. So if you press number 23, you're going to get detailed stats about the VRAM used uh, to represent your shading model. Okay, number 24 brings forth some more information about the shadows and you can see right there in the numbers. Of course, if you can calculate light, for example, I'm going to go into the indirect lighting and then bake the indirect lighting, you're going to see how the numbers start to react and how they move 
um, to show you the progress of your render scene. So you can do that on your own time and own experimentation. I'm going to keep going with this for number 25 until 29. The viewport doesn't do anything at all. And last but not least, on frame, I'm sorry, on number 30, that's the number we use to clear the debug stats and then return to the viewport to the normality, to the normal, you know, settings, default settings. Uh, it returns to the shading uh, method that you previously chose. So again, don't forget, 21 is the, the start of the detailed menus for your GPU or your core card. So we have these stats exactly like that in Softimage. It is called, I think in Maya, it's called the profiler. And it also shows how much time it takes to render whatever you have on the viewport. So if you go to the Blender 2.83 manual to look for this menu, the debug menu, you will not get much information. I went there and I tried to find what the numbers uh, meant. Of course, these are developer options. So if you're a developer, you'll know what to find. But um, I found it interesting that there are some debug command lines that you can check out. I'll leave the link in the description. And of course, if you try that, then you're gonna get some information as well in the command line. So this was the debug page, the official page from the manual, and it says that you can put the 256 value to get some results, but as of 283, that number does not work. It used to work back in 280, all the way to 282, but now it is, uh, I guess, discontinued because um, these debugging errors are being, you know, polished and of course they are removed or delete and of course blender gets better by the day obviously you can probably debug in other situations like drivers and also animation curves probably clean some of some of the animation curves well i hope you have enjoyed this episode and thank you very much for subscribing into my channel